Hi, my name is Ilma and today I'd like to share Galatians 2 verses 15 to 21. We are Jews by nature and not sinners from the Gentiles. Nevertheless, knowing that a person is not justified by works of the law but through faith in Christ Jesus, even we have believed in Christ Jesus so that we may be justified by faith in Christ and not by works of the law. Since by works of the law, no flesh will be justified. But if we, while seeking to be justified in Christ, we ourselves have also been found sinners, is Christ then a servant of sin? Far from it. For if I rebuild what I have once destroyed, I prove myself to be a wrongdoer. For through the law I died to the law, so that I might live for God. I have been crucified with Christ, and it is no longer I who live but Christ lives in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave life and gave himself up for me. I do not nullify the grace of God, for if righteousness comes through the law, then Christ died needlessly. Galatians 2, 15 to 21. Here's my devotional. Justified through faith in Christ Jesus. According to a commentary by Morris, this is Paul's first use of the great ancient Greek word dikalu, justified or declared righteous, in his letter to the Galatians. It is a legal concept. The person who is justified is the one who gets the verdict in a court of law. Used in a religious sense, it means the getting of a favorable verdict before God on Judgment Day. Paul knew that even a strictly observant Jew such as he could never be considered right before God by what he did under the law of Moses. Instead, he, Peter, and every single Christian must have believed in Christ Jesus. According to Stott, faith in Christ Jesus then is not intellectual conviction only, but personal commitment. The expression in the middle of verse 16 is literally, we have believed into Christ Jesus, Aeus. Running to him for refuge and calling on him for mercy. It is an act of committal, not just assenting to the fact that Jesus lived and died. By refusing fellowship with Gentile Christians, Paul said in his action that we are in part considered right before God by the works of the law. But Paul couldn't stand this because it wasn't the truth. Luther comments to give a short definition of a Christian. A Christian is not somebody who has no sin, but somebody against whom God no longer chalks sin because of his faith in Christ. This doctrine brings comfort to consciences in serious trouble. Essentially, Paul said, there is more sin in trying to find acceptance before God by our law-keeping than there is sin in everyday life as a Christian. Commitment is essential in salvation. Without it, we will be doing works of the law. Reflection. Why is commitment essential in our salvation? There are so many um, wrong understanding of um, what it means to be justified through faith in Christ Jesus. But, yes, we will be saved once we accept Jesus in our life, but if we do not continually walk into the, um, in, into our, walk in our faith, we will be so, it will be so easy for us to just justify ourselves by following the works of the flesh, which is following the law. And um, when Jesus died for us, if we follow the law and we do not live by faith, which is uh, continuing to, um, to believe despite all the things that we go through, to endure, to grow our faith. So when we are not committed Christians, what we're going to do is that we will just be doing works of the flesh. We will just be non-committal. We will just be doing religious stuff, 
rituals and all kinds of things, which does not, we, we are still going to be saved if we believe in him, but if we are believing, uh, if we are not living the gospel, if we're not living our faith, then why did Christ die for us? Because he already has, has died for us. He already justified us on the cross. So we need to be able to, he says in his word, uh, be holy as I am holy. So that's our way of being holy by following through with the essential element of our salvation, which is to grow our faith. Thanks for watching. I hope you check my website at ilmaarts.com for more artworks and photographs. And I hope you subscribe to my channel on YouTube so I can make more videos for the Lord. God loves you. Stay committed to your faith and walk, walk in the justification that Christ has given you by walking your faith. God loves you.